is for whom? Na good and bad, you must do the way where you they put your foot. The good way you they do, not for yourself. The bad way you they do. Without love, without forgiveness, without reconciliation, me and you. 
say we believe with faith or we do with faith. Friends in Christ, the human physiognomy will be very complex. We behavior and attitudes will never ever be the same and it will ever be the same. As all we, as many as we are away from here, we've been at different people from different backgrounds with different upbringings and it will be very, very difficult for all men to behave the same. And so if all we get this one at the back of our minds, we will be able to accommodate one another and not say, as you come out, you know, you, you will meet the next person where possibly you know they look at life from your own perspective. And then if you have that at the back of your mind, society will be a better place because first you will learn to accommodate people. Each one of you will be unique for your own way. But if we draw certain general conclusions from observing a particular set of individuals within a given time and space. Everything being equal, my dear friends, we all know that we live in very difficult times. We live in the moments where things are so difficult to understand in our society. Generally speaking, we live in times when people delight. We stay for times when people they have happy plenty for no justifiable reason. Some people don't like to see you so you fall. Then they be glad to see you fall. Some people don't like to know see you don't progress. And then they just be happy to see you don't progress. Times when people gang up against others just to satisfy their ego or to protect their selfish interest. Many close their eyes and promote evil against others to the extent of digging pits for them to fall in. But the psalmist tells you and I this day, say the pit where people they don't dig up, the pit where your enemy they don't dig up, say you can't fall in. Your enemy themselves will fall inside that pit in Jesus' name. Amen. We see their downfall as our 
is how we do our things. That is how people who have good intentions, they suddenly just pipe down, they suddenly stay there quiet. Because even the little they were able to do, we don't talk so things, few they are in left and right, and then they don't just remain there for down. Are you one of those who has been discouraged because people call your name anyhow? Because you wanted to do something and they watch you down? Friends in Christ, are you serving God or you are serving man? You will not stop for sin for group. And because say they don't call your name, say you did show show. You did sing that now for who? Eh? Remember, say God tell you for a side, but say if you don't praise me, the storms will praise me. How I wish you remember what you were feeling. Say make you stop for praise God. And the inanimate objects like stones, they stop for praise God. Not being a good thing. We give a rise up to the challenge and begin to do them for God. All of His glory. The moment we shall embrace the genuine habit of acknowledging God's goodness in one another by appreciating their gifts and making purposeful use of them. The moment we start seeing others as a blessing from God to our generation and start blessing them, we ourselves will be blessed. Many of us want to have blessings from God, but you don't know that you cannot get what you cannot give. You want me to bless you. You don't be blessed personally around. You want me to bless you with talent, with money, with every other thing, for instance. Somebody there for your corner, when you do something with it, just a word of Asia. No Asia. It is poor hard though. Asia is poor hard. Just for that person in front of us, Asia is past plenty of weed. Some of weed who Asia will get them for inside society and many others. It means a push. It means a bad battle. You be that kind of person who if you encourage somebody. Remember that when you encourage people, you bless them. When you encourage somebody, you tap somebody on the back. Say so you don't try. You will make him even do better things. You don't ever tell your group leader, say I should have work. You don't ever tell your financial secretary, say I should have work. You don't ever tell your husband or your wife, say I should have work. You don't ever tell your pastor, say I should have work. Or why are you not to do to do left to do to do right? Let us watch out. The moment we shall embrace the need of acknowledging his goodness, he will acknowledge, acknowledge us. As we acknowledge others who are created in his image, he will acknowledge us. We ourselves will be blessed and our society will feel impacted because we are able to encourage one another. Life is a boomerang, my friend. What goes around comes around. When you give out salt all the time, don't say you'll get salt. When you give money, you'll get money. If you only shoot that bad, bad talk for people, some people they let their very bad idea. They are not that they run so good. As you make them so you will up your match in the state, you will come. Whatever you give out, you will receive it in full measure. Garbage in, garbage out. Wait till you get out, now so you will receive them. Yeah, friends in Christ, the same measure you use with others will be used on you by our Father in heaven. How do you treat others? What is at the back of your mind? You see, it is high time, my friend, we quit fighting one another and start harnessing our potentials for the common good. Let's start boosting one another up. Then you say you can try. My sister, improve next time. Then you say you can try. My brother, improve next time. Make him make time. You say, don't fight those fucking fight before you open room for improvement. Now, so it is. We will not let the only push. Back, 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 back. That one will be a Christian attitude. Let's start boosting one another up with delightful compliments so that we can cultivate a serene and open atmosphere for growth and expansion. In life, we must know that we don't know it all. No, we shall know all one day. And you can't do it all. No individual is an island of knowledge. We need the support and knowledge of others to grow. For instance, when you look at this church, that way they put foundation for the church. I don't hear saying they be being a carabot. Then they turn for carabot. They build a reach for some place. They reach for some place, they shift and they bring them for front. So they are there for which way they now. The ceiling will not be there as so. This beautiful church house will not be there as so. A lot of things don't change. It changes not only because the times it change. It changes now because technology do it evolve. And many people will not come with many other and all these ideas brought together, you know, many church will be with the way it be today. It be a beautiful thing for bring all we, we, we knowledge, for bring all we ascend as well, they come together, for see how they will feel. May God be work and continue for growth for from. No one man, it not be a, a one man army. All those supposed to do work together. We acknowledge what has been, what 
is. And we need to harmonize with efforts for a church like this. For see where we, what will we do for making the church may be better in the future. Such is life. No one works in isolation. So before we do things to say to end this message, one of the things I have to say is this. What we talk say more fixed with relationship with one another. We understand say at best some people will fix their relationship with one another, they take them fine on plastic level. At the extreme end, I say God loves our relationship with one another. But since we are sometimes hypocritical or plastic in such relationships, God may not consider our relationship with man more to determine our destiny, but he looks at your heart. To three with the love of that man's soul, we will love for your heart. To three with the fix that we so we will be fixed up for your heart. Because some people then they can't stand for you so some people now bite and blow them. Then when they stand up for you, they don't match you. When they start making you fight, fight, they don't say they don't match you. At that time when the smiles of man, hey, 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 that way talking about you say, killer. <laughs> so with relationship with people, most of the times at best, it be very, very, very hypocritical. Sometimes man will love you way to do you not like you. And so we talk, say, relationship with man is better. But fix some man for that one way be pleasing for God on side. Fix some be fine, fine. So what others know about us does not really influence what God has kept for us. It is between God and us. Our judgment of one another is partial and based on our emotions, biases and presumptions, and therefore incomplete. So as an individual, I close my ears and do not allow the gossips I hear. I close my ears. I do, not, I do not allow those kind of side talks to stop me from doing the good things that I am supposed to do. In as much as I do them, I focus on what God knows about me. If this is your modus operandi as you listen to this message, no man born of a woman can discourage you from doing the things that you know are right before God. Yes, your yes will remain your yes. Even people twist and toast you left and right. You are no will remain your no. Is better than whatever you share with man that will be plastic at some levels. Don't waste precious time criticizing others as if you were faultless. That the bad thing that when you see man doing fast for criticizing another man, eh, don't think you are that looking fine. The old trouble with the this old man, the old trouble with the back. Find out people that like to criticize others for their own trouble, they're, they're plenty. No one is perfect in the eyes of God. You know, they are never, no one is perfect.